Today we're going to learn how to start our Hundertwasser house. It's a very colorful house. It has three different parts of the building. Okay? It has a main part and two side parts. And then it has roof on each part of the building. Here I have two different kinds of roof, roofs, which you can put more than that if you would like, because I have all of these options right here. Arches and gables. I also have options for all the different lines that you can do in the building. But we're going to get to that after we learn how to draw our building. So, the first thing that we need are our different building templates. I have a bunch of different sizes. I have small, skinny, a little bit fatter than those, and the bigger ones. So I want to pick one big one. I think I'll pick this one. And I can pick two more. One or two more. I think I want to pick this one. And maybe... Actually, I think I want another one of this one. Okay. So, once I have my templates picked out, I'm going to arrange them on my paint picture before I draw anything. I want them to touch but I want to put them in the middle so there's still some room on the sides. So, I think I like this. This would give me a symmetrical house that would be the same on both sides if folded in half. First thing I need to do is do my middle piece. Remove those to the side and trace this one with my pencil. Not too dark, so if I need to erase, I can erase. All the way to the bottom. I don't need to do the bottom line. Now I'm going to take my template for the right side. Line it up to the bottom and the side. And trace that. Same thing on the other side. If you were using a different template, that's where you would use the different one now. Oh, we got to make sure it's straight. Okay, so once you have your basic buildings in there, you want to figure out what kind of gables you want to give. The gables are what go on top of your building, like the roof. If you've ever been in downtown St. Louis or any other city, you probably see buildings that have these fancy roofs, and those are sometimes called facades because they are not what the building looks like behind the front of the building. So facades are on the front of buildings. So I'm going to pick at least two of these gables. I could pick three, but I don't want just one. Not just one. Okay, so I'm going to pick... Hmm, I think I want to do this one for my big main one. kind of looks like a flower. I'm going to start at the edge and I'm going to end at this corner. I'm going to start by doing a big curved line and then another one and then another one until I reach that edge. Now this paper isn't very high because this template was a little bit higher so I didn't have a lot of room for the arch. <clears throat> Down here I'm going to pick a different one. And since I want my building to be symmetrical, which means it's the same on both sides, if I folded it, it would match up, I'm going to pick one gable and use it on both. And I think I would like to do this one. So I'm going to start by going out, in, up, out again, to the middle, and then I'm going to do the same thing, but on this side. Out, in, down, up. Oh, and then I ran into the wall, so I don't have to finish it. That's all I have to do. There's also another line on the inside, so I'm going to do that line again. It is parallel with this line, meaning it's the same, but not right next to it. It makes a border. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Out, in, up, out, up, 
and then do it again, but opposite side. Down, in, out, all the way, boop, and hit a wall. And then I'm going to do the same line again. Oops, didn't give myself a lot of room there, did I? Well, you don't have to worry about it being perfect. And I also forgot to do the line on this one right here. Got to do that line. I'm going to start here. Go around. Boop. Boop. And boop. Okay. So now I have my gables. And now I can move on to drawing my lines. So all kinds of different lines. All kinds of different shapes. I want to use at least two lines. I could use three, but I'm not going to use one. Two or three. Okay? So, I'm going to put, hmm, in the middle here, I'm going to pick one line. I would like to use the wavy line. That is the wavy line right here. So, I'm going to do my wavy line side to side, but I'm going to make it a little weird. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. But it's only for this main middle building. And now I'm going to pick one line and do it on both of these. Because remember, mine is symmetrical. I'm going to choose this one right here. That looks like it's making squares. So I'm going to start my line by going... Ooh, I'm actually going to do vertical. I'm going to go down to the left, down to the right down to the left, down to the right, down to the left, down, and I hit the bottom. Notice my line is not teeny tiny. I'm doing this line large. I'm going to do it again. Down to the left, down to the right, down to the left, down to the right, down to the left, down, and I hit the edge. One more time. Down to the left, down to the right, down to the left, down to the right, down to the left, down, and hit the edge. Do the same thing over here. Down to the right, down to the left, down to the right, down to the left, and again. Down to the right, down to the left, down to the right, down to the left, down to the right, down to the left, and down. And one more time. Okay, and the last thing I need to do before I get to outlining or coloring would be to add my shapes. I'm going to put one shape in the smaller roof and three in the bigger. Any of these shapes will do, or maybe one that you come up with on your own. I'm going to put a diamond in the two side houses, and I'm going to put circles in the middle one. And now I would be ready to outline with a Sharpie.